Finally, my tiny robot army has the power it needs. Anthony here for DNews, and if you've watched the show much, you know that batteries are the worst. They are messy and inefficient and expensive to manufacture. You also know that 3D printing is the best. So how about this? A team at Harvard used 3D printing technology to create the smallest lithium ion battery ever. How small? The size of a grain of sand. The team used a highly precise machine to print interlaced stacks of tiny battery electrodes, so each one less than the width of a human hair. And the printer uses these special inks, not quite plastics, that have chemical and electrical properties. So they stack these electrodes up, and then they place them into a tiny container filled with electrolytic solution. The teensiest little container. So let's talk about why this is awesome. We've got all this technology in the world, and we want it to get smaller and lighter and thinner. We have things like medical implants, cameras, microphones, wearable computers. But the problem is they can only get as small as the battery they need to power them. The smaller a battery gets, the simpler its components and manufacturing process have to be, meaning you're stuck with less and less efficient batteries, less and less power, until you've gone so small that the batteries available to you won't power what you want to make, or there just isn't a battery that size at all. But lithium ion batteries are some of the most efficient ones we've got. They power our cell phones, computers, and even some of our electric vehicles. And just a couple months ago, an advancement made at the University of Illinois made them 2,000 times more efficient. And now, we can make them the size of a grain of sand. In the short term, this means huge things for people with hearing aids, pacemakers, insulin pumps. They can be lighter, less noticeable, and run even longer than before. And as we move forward, it's going to be a huge boon to robotics, tiny flying robots, robots for exploring hard to access areas, a swarm of teensy robots for manufacturing or repairing things. There are tons of inventions that we don't even know about that have been sitting around somewhere because they were just too small. We couldn't power them. Now we can. And soon, we're going to perfect the manufacturing process for supercapacitors, batteries made of things like graphene, you know, the ones that Trace talked about in his video a little while back. They're already twice as efficient as lithium ion batteries in lab tests, and easier and cheaper to manufacture. We could be just a few years away from a huge leap forward in all fields of technology. If you could build a machine for this tiny battery, what would it be? I would either want a super small, really light DSLR that can run all day without recharging, or a terrible nightmare army of micro bug robots to do my bidding. I'm torn. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.